Welcome to the another video of Cricket Throws. West Indies wrapped a comprehensive 276 runs win at Bridgetown to take a 1-0 lead in the short series. Chris Gale took his second 5-wicket haul in test as the Pakistan tail subsided after lunch following a memorable inning by Shahid Afridi, who made 122 from just 93 balls. Pakistan, through the flashing blade of Shahid Afridi, showed some of defiance in the morning session, but after he scored a mid-off shortly before lunch, it was only a matter of time for the West Indies. Asim Kamal provided a perfect foil for Afridi and reached a half century as well. But Shahid Afridi was still wrecking havoc and he isn't the type of player to nudge his way to the 100 and duly reach the milestone in grand style. On 98, Shahid Afridi charged down to pitch to Darren Powell and launched the ball over mid-off and it bounced on the rope. It was given as for although it should have been another 6 and Afridi took to his 100 from just 78 balls, the second fastest by a Pakistani at that time. Shahid Afridi celebrated with two successes Passive sixes in Gale's next over, and suddenly Chandra Paul was wearing that bewildered look that has become his trademark during a tough summer. To the huge relief of everyone involved with West Indies, when Shahid Afridi tried to launch Powell over mid off again, and Chandra Paul was underneath to hold the catch. Shahid Afridi scored 122 runs of 95 balls, 179 minutes, he hit six sixes and nine fours. Let's watch the Shahid Afridi innings. you'll see, you will think that he's still got the one day clothing on, but it doesn't matter what form of the game, he's going to come out and back himself and trust his ability. He's been quite inconsistent in down on the ground. Hit 1-6 in the first inning as well with a full shot. There's a man out there as well. Standing on square in the deep. Was there for the first ball. But a pretty still thought, oh, well, I think standards aren't big enough for me. Quite half hit this is a sailing out of it. And that's exactly what happened. There's big room for error. Most bats would, would, would now a short ball just try and not hit it as hard, get into a good position and roll it down to the man in the deep. Be happy with a single. Not this man. to a lot of big hitters when they keep playing the big shots in spite of fielders being there on the boundary line. Their theory is pretty simple. They say if you're looking to hit the ball out of the ground, why worry about players who are inside the ground? That's the confidence of power. He has lots of it. I think what's happening right at the moment is being encouraged to play a natural game. Maybe three years back, two years back, when he used to get out playing a wild shot. Single. Shahid Afridi would get crucified because the fans and uh, the team the selectors felt let down. It's really unfair when you have players like Shahid Afridi getting out, playing an attacking shot, then being reprimanded for it. They're different. They need to be handled differently. And I, and I totally agree with Bob He's got a natural instinct and a, and a natural ability that needs to be set free and just run wild as he's been able to do and encourage to do in his match cricket. But when he does get runs for them, he scores them quickly and uh, have a positive effect. Punched away nicely to long off. The 115 comes up for Pakistan. Asim Kamal, now he's got a 7th test 50. He's just got 7. Beautiful shot. Nicely controlled Clyde. 4 more to Pakistan. It shows he has the ability to, to really think about things because this is fully in control. He just steered into the gap out of the middle of the bat. Sometimes you get to time these kind of shots, although most be using the pace of motor. That went quickly to the ropes. Yeah, that he met at the right time. No! That's how it 
dangerous players like Shahid Afridi are and quickly added 24 runs after he was dropped. No major relevance really from the runs point of view, but the, the relevance is what it's doing psychologically to the captain, Shanda Paul, and, and you can see that the effect it's having is that the fields are being pushed back, which is allowing easy singles. So the reason why it is good that a free scoring quickly is it's it's making a more defensive field. Therefore batting becomes easier. Bowlers are having to think each delivery, where am I going to put this? If I get it wrong, he's going to belt me. And so there's, there's not a, a bowler able to just try up for his last over, but it bounced a bit more. And was able to play it from a nice high at that time. It was just a dab. to him and was unable to gain control of the people have turned up. Expecting a West Indies win today. Very much on the cards. They're hoping and praying, Sanjo. They're hoping and praying. Back when we got back to the hotel last night, the bar staff and all the staff at the hotel, but what do you think? They're going to win tomorrow? They're going to win tomorrow? I said, surely they're going to win tomorrow. Look at the game situation. And they just held up their fingers, fingers crossed. We've seen the Blues games that they should have been winning re recent times. So they've almost regained a little faith. Corey Collymore will cut to deal. Shahid up really in a lot of mistake singles. How long will he continue doing that in Pakistan? One wonder. It's going to be Jeffrey Dujon and Tony Gozier. You see that I remember Ron Kanai hooking West Hall onto the scoreboard in a regional matchup down against Barbados. It's a huge hit. Best innings I've seen. to have in the Caribbean. The great players around playing and representing their territories. Good shot. That's what the crowd likes to see. Not the shot you would want to see for a team which has 573 to win, but typical of Brady. <laughs> he, he likes it. He's a character ready. Really positive approach. <laughs> Really, that one he was he was looking he was looking way outside the ground for that one. Swung so hard that his helmet shifted on his head. There it goes. <laughs> and then rehearsed it as if you know tried and just missed. Finding the gap. Banged away and we'll go. And does. Some very positive stuff here from the Pakistanis entertaining from them. Here's that edge. Brown goes in line with the ball and it just passes him. And very quickly passed him. And too wide of the slip to get to it.
Morning of shots. 174 for five. This is the drop catch a sitter missed by Clayton Smith and long off. Not only did he drop it, but the ball ran away, hit the skirting, and it was a palm break. Plenty of time really to see it, gather his thoughts, then gather it properly. And the runs are just flowing. And the West Indies just uh, seemingly taking it for granted that they're going to win this match. Don't seem to be putting any effort into winning it, into finishing it off quickly. I give the impression that they're waiting for someone, something to happen, waiting for one of the batsmen to, to, to do something right. into the air and that's gone away and will just drop inside has it it's carried it's carried shade of Freedy. he's gone on now to 78 and this is not an easy shot to play he's basically got one foot on the ground and has managed to hit the ball straight down the ground for six Perfect timing. Back overhead this time. And it's gone for four. If he bats for three hours, Pakistan could get these 573. He's just belting it. There's some more orthodox shot hitting straight down the ground, hitting through the line of the ball. But that was not an easy shot to play. To hit, it, to hit the fast ball of the six over long on, with one foot on the ground. No appeal from the ball though. May have got a nick on that as well. He's got uh, two test hundreds. He hasn't played all that many tests. A lot of one day international, of course. He's gone to 83 here. One of those test hundreds was against the West Indies in Sharjah in 2002 when he gave three chances. A simple catch. He remembers to Carl Hooper, one of the best defenders in the game. And next, everyone on the leg side is on the boundary. This time.
Brady in strike. And he's a single hit on his back. Comfortable runs here, Freddy for Freddy. West Indies team, which has uh, the opposition 197 to 5. Five men. Five men on the boundary, right on the boundary. Deep backwards square leg, deep mid wicket, long off, long on. And the square cover. And the only fielder who is really close to the bat is a slip. Point backward is deepish, short third man, deepish, extra cover, deepish. And uh, driven away down through extra cover. And, uh, and it's gone away. Very good effort down there by Wavell Hines, but he couldn't stop it. Another boundary for a freebie. Weston is just no gonna stop him. In fact, it's not Wavell Hines, it's uh, Rion King who made a little bit of valiant diving effort to cut it off. And this was struck very hard and timed very well. And so was that. Moved on to 91 now, Freddy. Good attempt there from Rian King. We couldn't stop it from going into the back. In the air, high up in the air and gone. Another big six for Freddy. Moves to 97. 209 now for five, Pakistan. A pretty on fire. And he's not going to back up. A 91 he launches this one over what hit me wicket for six. There wasn't any doubt from it left the bat. should be shortly and uh, it would be a time for the West Indies just to, to regroup to rethink what their tactics will be against the Freddy especially he's been the one who's taken them apart this morning up up and away again now a change in bowling Darren Powell it will be his personality, his character, which has shone through throughout his career, you can be sure that what is going through his mind now is not so much his third test 100, but getting it with a six. Then again, maybe not. Smith is the fielder at backward point. Drinks have been called onto the field. Shahid Afridi is 97. Tradition we are seeing from Shahid Afridi, 97 from 76 balls. Pakistan has lost one wicket today. Asim Kamal was caught by Smith on Gale for 55. This was the drop catch, a sitter missed by Devin Smith at long off. Not only did he drop it, but the ball ran away, hit the skirting, it was a boundary. Okay, plenty of time really to see it, gather his thoughts, then gather it up.
Sehwag, the Apridis of the game. Love to get to the hundreds with sixes. And this was perhaps the most impressive shot that is played in the innings. He's charged the fast bowler. We haven't yet got an official confirmation of the six. It's landed on the rope by the new regulations that came in for about, I think, a good three, four years now. It will go down as a six if it's confirmed that that ball landed on the skirting of the rope. He's given it a four. We thought it had uh, hit the skirting directly. Pretty will take it. Now the moving drive. Shimmerai chip the ball, hulls the ball back, thinking of uh, getting a run out. Charging the pass bowler, hitting through the line. 100 of 78 balls. some doubt about that uh, whether it was a six or a four and quite a slow hundred if you apply the Afridi standards to it he's got a hundred in one day internationals of 37 balls which is a world record for the quicker hundreds in world cricket second quick is by Pakistani Pakistan playing here to save the game. Great entertainer, great performer. Two twenty-three for five. Even Stevens offside in uh, leg side play, sixty percent on the offside. On. Big hits have come through the onside. That's gone in the air. That's cleared the man at mid wicket boundary. It's another one, big one. It's gone. It's been single to six. Once again, it's gone on the roof. Another big hit. Another six, unbelievable. He didn't like it. It got the edge of the bat. <laughs> Few more words for comfort for Chris Gale. He's been manhandled by our breathing. Oh, that could have been called a wide. But he's not going to let go of this great chance. There's an off spin of bowling, short side boundaries. He's crossed his hundred. This is a dream situation for him. If only his team was in a better position. First of the two, clearing the boundary quite easily. Going into the Kensington stand. The second six went in the same direction. Clean as a whistle. And both were pretty good for the second one that he hit for a six was flatter, more outside the off stump to prevent him from going on the leg side. Still somehow managed it. Strike rate 138.1, 116 from 84 balls. Pick up a run. Looking very dangerous. 
seems to have settled in quite nicely after getting his hundred. This session has clearly belonged to our Friday. Run rate of five and a half, 124 runs in just 86 minutes. In conversation with King. They want to get it absolutely right now. They know that Afridi is going to hit the ball. And they're expecting the ball to land somewhere within the ground. But so far, every time he's looked to hit that big shot, it's gone over the boundary. What do you plan as captain against Shahid Afridi? What do you tell your bowler? What kind of field you set? Here, West Indies can keep giving him singles because uh, that will frustrate him more and have fielders in the deep where he normally hits the ball. Now, the long ball is in place, which is a good move. He likes to hit the ball straight, especially a fast bowler. There's somebody for the full shot as well, which is a good idea. Thing you can tell your bowler is bowl a ball with which you can normally take wickets. And let's hope for the best. There's only so much that you can plan or have as a strategy with Shahid breathing. Now we have a situation where a mid on and long on are right behind each other. That mid on fielder is being moved on to short mid wicket. Clever batting. He had earlier that, uh, a little meeting with his partner. Told him that the off is my call. He's deep, so I'll push for one and he'll be ready to come to the other end. So he's thinking for once. As a captain, I wouldn't mind it giving him singles because you can see it when he gets a single, he's not a happy man. What gives him pleasure? Had a great tour of India, very well in the test matches, and was uh, awesome in the one days. He's carrying that good form here also. Man of the series in the one day series. This is test matches in 2005. Rock really four matches, not too many. Good average. Pakistan is starting to find the value of Shahid Afridi in test matches. Also, his bowling has got a lot to do with it. Imagine that frustrates him. A single of the first ball. I don't think he likes it. It's a full, full toss and he misses it. I think he got an edge as well. It's not the first time we've seen a batsman to miss a high full toss. Is it there? He wants to hit the big one. It's been a while. He may have been surprised with uh, the length of the ball. It turned out to be a full toss. He wasn't expecting. Got a feather touch to it. Very good shot for a single. It's 242 for five. Slater and Tony Cozy. 
It's very much from his. Afridi, he's great for test cricket. He's great for cricket full stop, just his approach. And then we turn up today, Borky, Pakistan had no hope and that it's going to be a, a one sided affair. And it, and it is a one sided affair when you look at the scorecards, but Afridi is giving so much excitement to the viewers here at the ground and I'm sure in your living rooms at home. He's a pretty special player. He's now begun to play in an orthodox fashion. Nice little um, Tony, I agree with that, but they shock themselves because the difference between a quick victory, comprehensive victory. Freddie has just begun to play more and more orthodox now. He's got 100, which is uh, playing well. Nice seeing light. The West Indies are without their key bowler. Peter Edwards, and you can see that the opposition here is uh, just waiting for him to do something silly. They need the intensity before the break. As quite often you'll see batsmen playing for these breaks, therefore changing their natural game from the way they've been playing up until that point. taking more placid approach in the last half an hour. The feel that that might last for too long. Here's the big shot coming. Now, in the air, back he goes. The catch is in the air and taken, he's gone. Chandapal holds the catch, relief for the West Indies. Shade of what an innings, but it's finally ended. As was always on the cards with a lofted catch off power. And the Kensington stand is full of excitement and joy. 257 for 6. And while well, Pakistan have been so far behind in this test match, Jade Afridi this morning has given us all so much entertainment. I've liked the approach. The one thing you do know that a loose shot will come eventually. Chance earlier today went down and it allowed him to get to 100. But he's one of a kind, he never says die. And everyone here have enjoyed what we've seen. He's gone for 122, 257 for six. Once the Shahid Afridi dismissed, West Indies wrapped up a comprehensive 276 runs win at Bridgetown to take a 1-0 lead in the short series. Keep in mind, it was West Indies' first significant test win since they beat Sri Lanka in June 2003. And this was first victory for Shiv Narayan Chandrapal as captain. At the start of the day, you could have been forgiven for thinking that Pakistan were the side in control of the match. Such were the strangely negative tactics employed by Chandrapal, who was happy to set defensive fields. However, the fielders would have had to standing on the roof for the stands and in the roads outside the Kingston Oval if they wanted to take any catches once Afridi got going. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.